Hi, Booktube. Welcome to Lizzie Faye Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth, and today's video is about the Sunshine State Young Reader Award finalists for third to fifth grade. Now, I've got a special guest star to help me with this today. She is our children's librarian at our uh, public library, and this is Rachel. She has also just started her own Booktube channel, which is Ray Re Loves Reading, and I'll link that down below. This is my uh, main library where I do a lot of volunteering with the friends of the library. You may have heard me talk about book sales and things. And um, so Rachel is in charge of this, the teen room, and also the children's room, which is across the way. And so she has allowed me to come and video this today, and I wanted her to be in on this too, because she is much more of an expert on Sunshine State books than I am. Before working here at the public library, she was the librarian at my daughter's elementary school for, was it nine years? Yes, so she is very familiar with the Sunshine State program and a lot of the past books and um, just that whole thing in general. Tell us a little bit about Sunshine State books. What uh, I know you've dealt with them in the past at, on an elementary level, which is the third to fifth grade group, which is what this group is. Do um, you have any particular favorites from previous years or any that stand out in your mind as being uh, really, really good books? Well, I really got started in the 43-year-old Cemetery Road series which was one of the Sunshine State standard books. And the next thing I know, I'm reading all of them. And there's like seven of them. So that was something that really got me off on. Oh, um, <laughs> there were seven in that series? Yes. OK. And the first one was in the list, and it just picked up. And next thing I know, I'm reading them all. <laughs> I noticed that they, they do that a lot. With the sixth to eighth grade books, there are some books that are the first in a series or a trilogy. So once you read those, then of course you've got to go and read the rest. I had intended to tell you the reading level of each one, and I will probably type that down below in the description because I neglected to bring my notebook with me that has that information in it today. So let's get started. Uh, most of these, I would say, are for a fourth or fifth grade level. This one I know for sure is very suitable for a third grade level. This is White Fur Flying by Patricia McLaughlin. And you may be familiar with Patricia McLaughlin because she wrote Sarah Plain and Tall, which is one of my favorites. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. And this one is Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman, who has written many books and is a really good author. So. Yes, I have only read... Um, the Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, and I haven't read Coraline or some of the others that people talk about, but I know that uh, he's a great writer. <clears throat> this is Freaky Fast Frankie Joe by Latricia Clifton, and this is one of the two that I have read, and I would definitely recommend it. This is Eight Keys by Suzanne Lefleur. I have heard good things about this one, The Hero's Guide to Saving the Kingdom by Christopher Healy. This one is Alien in My Pocket. It's the first in the series, and it's called Blast Off, and it's by Nate Ball, and it looks really cool. That does look fun. <laughs> this is Pie by Sarah Weeks. I have read this one, but it's been a couple of years, and I'm going to reread it. it. I remember that it was a really cute story about a, a cat who inherited a pie recipe. And this is Nerd Camp 2.0 by Alyssa Brent Weissman. That one looks cute, too. It does look really neat. So this is Olivia Bean Trivia Queen by Donna Gephardt. And this is Athlete versus Mathlete by W.C. Mack. The 14th Goldfish by Jennifer L. Holm. The Hypnotist by Gordon Corman, who is an excellent author. Yeah. This is Kissy Ann Stamps by Jerry Watts. I was just looking at the synopsis of this, and this is historical fiction. It's about a girl who is, uh, in 1963, is just about to enter the newly integrated school. And I love reading about this time period um, because that is the time period when I was born. And it's just fascinating that so many things like that were happening in, you know, almost in my lifetime. And, um, of course, it's, it's depressing, but at the same time, I enjoy learning about it because I think it's important to learn our history so that we don't repeat certain certain things. And this is A Snicker of Magic by Natalie Lloyd. That one has the best cover of anything. <laughs> the triple scoop of ice cream. It does. <laughs> and this is Three Times Lucky by Sheila Turnage. I started this the other day and then got sidetracked and so I couldn't even tell you about it from the beginning. I think it takes place in Louisiana, maybe in um, uh, New Orleans possibly. And uh, it looks really cute. There have there is a sequel to this one now. Maybe two other books. 
in this series. This is the Sunshine State Young Reader Award finalist for the third to fifth grade. There are a total of 15 books and from this list they will choose one book to be the winner. Um, you can go on the FAME website, Florida Association of Media and Education, to find out more details about that program. And if you live in Florida, you could um, you can nominate books for this group for next year. And then students in Florida have the opportunity to vote for the book that they think is the best. Uh, if they read at least three books, I think they have to read at least three of them, and then they can vote. So um, it's a really neat program here in Florida. I'm sure uh, other states have similar programs. If you are interested in finding out what your state has to offer, just uh, you know, check with a school librarian in your state or, uh, or a librarian and they can tell you if there is anything in your state or in your country for that matter. Watch my wrap-ups and my reviews coming up if you want to learn more about these books. If you've already read any of these books, please let me know and tell me what you thought of them. Thank you, Rachel, for um, joining me in this and for letting us film here at the library. And um, oh, also, real quick, um, I don't know if you can see them all the way in the back, but I did put up a few books in the back that are previous Florida Sunshine State Young Reader. We just call them Sunshine State books. So um, those are previous Sunshine State books from previous years. So that's all I have for today for this video. Thank you, Rachel, for joining me. And please check out her channel. I'll link that down below. Um, I guess that's it. So I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book, and God bless you.